Hi, I'm YA author Sarah Dara Lippman, and I'd like to read a short passage from the, one of the banned books that has most influenced me, George Orwell's Animal Farm. It's towards the end of the book, and the person speaking, well, the animal speaking, is Napoleon. He did not believe, he said, that any of the old suspicions lingered, but certain changes had been made recently in the routine of the farm, which should have the effect of promoting confidence still further. Hitherto, the animals on the farm had a rather foolish custom of addressing one another as comrade. This was to be suppressed. There had also been a very strange custom, whose origin was unknown, of marching every Sunday morning past a boar skull, which was nailed to a post in the garden. This, too, would be suppressed, and the skull had already been buried. His visitors might have observed, too, the green flag which flew from the masthead. If so, they would have perhaps have noticed the white hoof and horn with which it had previously been marked had now been removed. It would be a plain green flag from now onwards. He had only one criticism, he said, to make of Mr. Pilkington's excellent and neighborly speech. Mr. Pilkington had referred throughout to Animal Farm. He could not, of course, know, for he, Napoleon, was only now, for the first time announcing it, that the name Animal Farm had been abolished. Henceforth, the farm was to be known as the Manor Farm which, he believed, was its correct and original name. Gentlemen, concluded Napoleon, I will give you the same toast as before, but in a different form. Fill your glasses to the brim. Gentlemen, here is my toast, to the prosperity of the manor farm. There was the same hearty cheering as before, and the mugs were emptied to the dregs. But as the animals outside gazed at the scene, it seemed to them something strange was happening. What was it that had altered in the face of the pigs? Clover's old dim eyes flitted from one face to the other. Some of them had five chins, some had four, some had three. But what was it that seemed to be melting and changing? Then, the applause having come to an end, the company took up their cards and continued the game that had been interrupted, and the animals crept silently away. But they had not gone twenty yards when they stopped short. An uproar of voices was coming from the farmhouse. They rushed back and looked through the window again. Yes, a violent quarrel was in progress. There were shoutings, bangings on the table, sharp, suspicious glances, furious denials. The source of the trouble appeared to be that Napoleon and Mr. Pilkington had each played an ace of spades simultaneously. Twelve voices were shouting in anger, and they were all alike. No question now what had happened to the faces of the pigs. The creatures outside looked from pig to man, and from man to pig, and from pig to man again, but already it was impossible to see which was which.